Connecting is key as the Hurricanes arrive at work. Before the rugby starts, there's hongi, handshakes and hugs. It's not just about a winning culture, it's a focus on mental health. <laughs> Having that connect on a life level, things outside of rugby before we even get into our training, we play table tennis, play cards. I, I find that stuff um, really important to, to balancing out my life. Making sure that we're, we're good friends first um, before we're like a rugby team is, is really important. While rugby's young stars live out childhood dreams, are idolised and bask in glory. So Barrett kicks it into touch. The Hurricanes have got the win. The lows are also extreme, with heartbreaking losses and scathing criticism. TJ Pedernada remembers first encountering the darker side of pro rugby after breaking his ankle in his debut super season. The hit that I took as a rugby player had a direct impact on me as a human as well because I didn't have anything else to fall back on. And I went to um, some dark places there as a young kid and places I hadn't been before. I cared about social media, I cared about what um, reporters were saying, uh, what the public was saying. And Perinara there, it's two tries tonight, he has been impressive. Playing well at a young age, uh, feel probably an inner ego. And then I got injured and then that was taken away and I was like, man. Am I not good at footy? Am I a shit person? And I thought TJ Pedernada is a rugby player. He's not a person who plays rugby. So the key for young players is to find their identity in a lot of ways. Yeah, I think so. The Hurricanes have psychologist Luke Rowe to help. So I can probably pick up when guys might be a little bit distracted. And so I'll have a conversation with them and say, hey, everything all good? Um, do we need to have a chat? I'll either say yay or nay. Most times, nowadays, they say yay. Seems to be a bit of a buzz, eh? Yeah. Rose says 50% of a player's challenge is mental, so it's imperative to look after their well-being, especially now online trolls can target them directly. There's a funny uh, post you put up yesterday, bro. Right. Jackson Garden Bashup truth. <laughs> has dealt with his fair share. This year has been, been a big one. Obviously, Bodie left, and a lot of the Canes Fans have been uh, used to the world's best team being at first five for us. So each week when it's sort of me or Fletch getting named, we cop, cop a bit of heat. So there was, there was a time a few weeks ago where I just had to unfollow, turn off notifications for the Hurricanes fans, so I just shut it off completely. One tool Road uses to help is Fakatoki or Proverbs. There's one from up the uh, Wanganui River that comes from a haka called Mangu Mangu Taipo. E kore e perite uku ki te rino. So um, clay, which is um, uku, and rino is steel. And so when clay is flung to steel, it slides off. And that's quite a nice metaphor, right? Noticing them, acknowledging them, because you can't ignore it sometimes, especially in the social media world. But allowing those things to slide off. I've learned now that who the opinions I, I need to care about. Um, like my teammates, my coaches, uh, my family, my partner. Family values are a major theme in the Hurricanes' approach to well-being. They've created that environment in the clubhouse. It's printed on their jerseys, and players are encouraged to call home. Made sure I've talked to my parents from back home, and just sort of felt the felt their presence around me. Hurricanes come at him. His kick is just away. In Super Rugby Aotearoa. The margins between heroism and heartbreak are slim, and looking after your mental health is key to coping. You could think there's no light at the end of the tunnel some days, but really it's just important to be able to speak what you're feeling, just talking to your mates about it, exercising, positive thoughts. It's definitely something that's pretty important.